Hi, my name is Tommy Duncan. I'm from Hendersonville, North Carolina. Um, I've lived overseas for about 18 years and then relocated back to North Carolina and have been a stained glass artist since high school, but mostly doing copper and uh, foil, uh, tech, solder and foil technique. So I really wanted to explore the art of using lead cane and I stumbled across a Wabi Sabi uh, workshop and here I am making my first lead cane piece. It's been a blast. Oh my goodness, uh, it's been an absolute joy working with uh, Mike. Um, uh, I talked to him earlier, I said he's a master of his class, obviously. Um, just being able to see his, uh, his talent and being able to be one-on-one -on -one with him has been fantastic. Um, uh, you know, in, in education we talk about um, a guide on the side. And so he's really been that, that guide on the side and anytime I had a question, he immediately would help me problem solve. Um, I highly recommend this uh, class. I love it because in, it, as an educator myself, we always say class size matters. And you know, the one-on-one, -on -one, two-on-one has been phenomenal in my retaining of the information and being able to confidently go back home and apply what I've learned here. Um, if you're, even if you're not in North Carolina, I would highly recommend a trek, even across the country, uh, to come and see the workshop and be a part of the workshop. Um, you know, I, I told him the other day, I am not comfortable with the grosing pliers. And it was like the ticket of admission, the price of admission, just to learn how to use those properly. Even though I've been a stained glass artist since I was in high school, not being confident in chewing away glass with those instead of using the grinder. So yes, you should definitely come. So you're doing this for the first time, aren't you? Uh, yeah, it's so cool. It's like making a big grown-up mess. I mean, the arts, whether it's musical arts, performing arts, visual arts, um, that's, a lot of the times, that's the only part that the kids really appreciate and enjoy going to school is being able to participate in the arts. Um, even myself growing up, um, we didn't, unfortunately, I didn't have art in school. Uh, when I was in elementary, we had, you know, what they call music on a cart and the record player. And so I took private lessons just to learn art when I was in fifth grade. And then I just continued to pursue art into high school and university. Are you saying we're better when we've got a creative bent to us? Absolutely, yeah. absolutely, yeah. I mean, creativity, um, I mean, I truly believe that all children are creative when they've been given the opportunity to have exposure to the arts, whether, you know, whether it's painting, drawing, or physically making a three-dimensional object.